Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Dying Light 2 video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my favorite way on how to farm chases. The level doesn't really matter because I found a good spot where you can uh, control everything, let them come at you, and all you gotta do is shoot. And there's only one way they can jump at you. The only thing that, yeah, there are those uh, zombies that can spit at you, or basically range attack, but it's pretty easy to dodge. And if you do everything right, you can get all this beautiful loot. So let me explain on how I do this, and then also play at the very end of the clip uh, a little bit of uh, me actually doing it. So you'll be able to see how it's all done. And as you can see, a whole bunch of loot, a whole bunch of trophies, everything is all good. So, let's stop wasting time and jump right into the video. I mean, man, this is just crazy <laughs> loot all over the place. <laughs> this theory actually worked, man. <laughs> Alright, so from this one run, I got six and a half thousand gold a lot of uh, unique trophies rare trophies it's time to upgrade man all right let me explain you how you can do all this All right, so for the starters, let me share the location with you. The location that we are going to be looking at is the Horseshoe Water Tower. So if you play the main mission, essentially at some point you will come here, and essentially at some point you will capture this uh, specific building. All right, afterwards you will need to decide to whom it goes to, and uh, this is your bed. So once you've slept, you got the night triggered, right, because you, you can only do this during the night. Uh, you use this hook to go down, and that's the location that we need to be. So let me explain you the reason. The reason is because you will need to use those screamers holders to trigger the chase. Uh, but the reason why this is good, first of all, we are at night, so we need the UV light. It's right here. Boom, fixed, right? Uh, then, the only way that those guys can get to you is by this bus. So this is the only way. As long as you keep them away, uh, they won't get you. <laughs> uh, but, of course, if you get to level 4 and you will start to encounter those bigger zombies, let's say, those guys are really fast, they hit really hard, and they can also spit, like, do range damage. So that one you will need to dodge. So having that said, make sure you have a few med kits on you or any healing, whatever healing you use, right? Now in terms of a weapon, I personally use a bow. And there is a reason. Well, first of all is that it does not break. So there's no durability with the bow. I got a level 3 bow though. I mean, um, a rank 3 bow, although I'm rank 4. How to get the bow? Uh, well, in my case, I got the bow when I got rank 3 from a um, vendor. So, all vendors, they sell loot time to time, all differently, randomized. And throughout the time, I've encountered the vendor selling a bow twice. And they both were legendary. So, I just had only one because of both of them were rank 3. But if you play through the storyline mission, uh, there is one mission that will reward you with the bow, but it's going to be level 2 as far as I remember, and a blue version. But anyway, y you need the bow. It doesn't break. Or crossbow, or whatever. You might even do this on a higher rank if you have a crossbow or whatever, right? With melee weapons, well, you can do it, but the weapons will break. It's a lot of, you know. Alright, so that's that, right? Now, uh... The bow, the arrows that I recommend are shock arrows. Why shock arrows? Uh, well, because uh, if you shoot a target, it will stumble the target, the target will not move, and it will also stumble the targets that is close to that specific target, and they will stop moving as well. Since during the chase, they all run at you, right? So I find the shock arrows to be the best, to be honest. Uh, now, 
you do need feathers. Feathers you can get from rooftops where you can find honeys and stuff like that. So I have a separate video where I made a, a guide of my route at the starting location where I farm my honey, my feathers, and stuff like that. So if you want, you can take a look at that video. Uh, the other crafting component that is required is uh, pretty pain and to, to get even to find I'm trying to find a source where I can actually farm those but at the moment what I do is uh, the wiring right I buy them from the uh, master craftsman so from these dudes right here uh, let me check if I haven't bought it, the stuff from him so there you go I just buy these things from him all of it I actually buy everything like, because this method really gives a good way of uh, uh, making an income you can also buy the resin Right, and instead of using uh, shock right arrows, selection. as they're pretty hard to uh, acquire, uh, get, uh, you can use the fire arrows, but they're not as effective as the shock ones. Uh, and this rosane thing, rosin, sorry, I, I sometimes mispronounce stuff because I am from Ukraine, sometimes I do mispronounce stuff, I have that in mind. So rosin, right, this thing right here, uh, you also get to find them on the rooftops, so that's why it's a lot easier, and a whole bunch of them, by the way. So that's why it's a lot easier to kind of get the fire arrows instead of the shock arrows but the shock arrows once again let me demonstrate that for you so you just uh, have a clearer picture why I love them so for example let's picture that uh, all these four guys are running at me if I shoot the guy in the middle he stops running and they all do okay let's start with chase <laughs> and then I guess I'm gonna try to explain everything while doing the chase now I would recommend not killing the haulers because if you for, uh, lose your chase for example uh, you only need to run out and find another hauler to trigger the chase, right? So I try to make sure to have my chase on at all costs. And as you can see, these guys are, are simply using uh, this way to get here. But they cannot get here because this is the base, right? So you can move back and they won't get you. So you can still use your melee weapon to kind of like swing. But I think it's, it's a way more time consuming. Oh my god, these guys are loud, huh? So you get the point, right? And from here, these shock arrows, they deal a massive amount of damage, right? So they first, they stop the targets from moving at you, and you can pretty much do whatever you want, right? But you can still get hit here, you can stand here, right? Now the arrow, uh, the fire arrow is different. It also kind of makes them stop running at you, right? Let me find a guy with a full HP. It will set them on fire. Oh. Set them on fire, right? But it works only on one target. Now, when the bigger guys will come, that's where you'll need to be a little bit more careful. Now, they should be popping up any soon because we're on level 2. And uh, once you get to level 4, those guys will just uh, pop out of everywhere. <laughs> so, what else do we have here? So you can set them on fire. If they for some reason stop running at you, just run down to the bus and run back up and they'll trigger them again. So from here you just keep shooting them. And so, I mean, this is all straightforward, right? I think I've explained every... Oh, oops, my bad. What is needed to get... To oh, there you go, those... Oh no, that's not... Where's the big guys? Here, big guy, where you at? So it looks like you can also do it pretty easy with fire arrows as well. Alright, cool. Hello, where you at? Come on out and play. Oh, I think I just heard the big guy. No? Where are you? Where are you? Let me quickly make some more arrows. Actually, let's make a whole bunch of them. Boom. I'm out of feathers. I need to go farm again. Where's the big dude? I just want to show him and call it a day there. Hello? 
Oi! No, 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 chase level. Come on. Oh, there's the big dude. There's the big dude. <laughs> By the way, I haven't shot them with fire arrows. Set them on fire. See, these guys can spit. Yeah, sh shock arrows did a way more damage than this thing is doing. So you get the point, right? Oh yeah, have in mind your stamina. And don't let these big guys hit you, because if they hit you, they hit hard. They hit like a truck. Like, if I don't heal now, and, and I miss one, like when he jumps, he swings an attack like this, right? That guy is just totally like minus 80% of my full HP bar. All right, well, this is where I'm going to be calling at the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can res respond to them. So if you want other people to read your comments, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z, so I'm from Ukraine, so I have from Ukraine. Uh, there you go, that's what I was talking about. Now they will be spinning at you, so deal with those guys and spin and keep moving left, right, left, right. So as I was saying, thanks all for watching. Hope you found this video useful. And uh, as of recording this video, there is a war going on in Ukraine. So if you're feeling like doing a little bit of charity work, uh, I will share two links to two different funds, charity funds, created by the NBU, which is the National Bank of Ukraine. And uh, one is for military, the other one is for humanitarian. So if you feel like helping us out, feel free to use those links and uh, anything else. So once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Wherever you guys lock it at. And I will see you on the next video. And yeah, got to tell you, by practice, the shock arrows are a lot better. A lot better than this fire. From the ashes we rose into